Hey, Dr. Isaac Jones here, and today I want to talk to you about the future of lead generation and how bright it is and how it is ultimately all virtual and all online. So you're not going to want to miss anything that I say because there are elements that have literally built some of the largest brick and mortar practices and virtual practices and brands uh, in the online space because of what we've taught over the years. And so I know a lot of the doctors uh, that are listening and perhaps even yourself, you may be thinking about marketing in a different way than we're thinking about marketing. As a doctor, I know that you wear a lot of hats. You're helping patients, you're serving patients, you're doing research, you're getting better, your clinical skills are continuing to upgrade, you're going to get CE credits on the weekends um, throughout the year. You ultimately are trained how to serve people and not necessarily how to think or operate like a business owner. You're trained to work in the business versus on the business, right? You're not necessarily trained to look at profit and loss statements and to pre-plan strategies and create scaling up methodologies to create momentum and automation for your business. Like <laughs> perhaps that gives you anxiety, but that's not what you're thinking about. You can ultimately only grow your business to the level that you're personally operating at from a psychological entrepreneurial perspective. So if you are just that operator, right? If you're working in the business versus working on the business, you're a business owner versus, excuse me, a business operator, that's the difference between work, working in versus working on, then you can never get above to, to see what is actually happening and let alone get ahead of marketing and sales to create exponential scalable growth. So ultimately, if you want freedom, you really need to operate in a way that is coming from a business perspective that is, you know what, like I'm going to make this business work for me versus me having to work for this business. I'm going to create a business that transforms people's lives and impacts people in a huge way. It's not built around my lifestyle and the things that I want to do in my life are built around my business. So do you have that? Do you have a business that's built around your lifestyle or do you have a lifestyle that is built around your business? Most people have businesses that are built around their uh, or lifestyles that are around, built around their business, unfortunately, and it throttles them. So how do you make sure to ultimately have a system that allows for you to have a full pipeline of new patients, right? In the old model, we are typically just local. And when we're just local, if you look at a graphic below, you know, we can only access a certain number of people at the top of funnel or the top of our pipeline. And typically, when we connect with them, we connect with them live. When we engage with them, we do live presentations, right? And then when we convert them, it's typically an in-office conversion. And when we are local, oftentimes because of what we're doing, we're the jack of all trades. We can be whatever to as many people as we want locally because it's sometimes relationally driven. You don't need to be necessarily as specific as when you want to like really up your game and market and attract people at another level. Now, if you look at that graphic below, when people really upgrade their way of being to realize that they are an authority, you are an authority, you become a mag magnet, right? Because you understand that you're actually looking to work with a particular type of person. And when you go virtual, the whole world is your oyster. You can literally work with people from all over the world. I work with people in Australia, in Tokyo, in Hong Kong. I work with people in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, in London, England, in Toronto, Canada, in Vancouver, Canada, all across America, obviously. LA, California, New York, Miami, et cetera. And so this is what is possible for you, is you can have an opportunity to work with people. Maybe if you just wanna keep it around the state that you're in, but still, that's a lot bigger a pie in respect to modern day marketing than just working with people uh, in your local community. Now, some of you are like, whoa, 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 wait, 
what about the legal ramifications or the strategy? Like, how do you actually do that? How can you work with people in this way or that way? And obviously we become experts at this. Like we've been doing this for the, over the last 10 years in coaching and training some of the top health professionals to do this for a very long time. So if there's a will, there's a way. And obviously we have a whole system around it, but the purpose of this conversation is that you can open yourself up when you go virtual, when you go online to so many more people. Now, here's the beauty of what we do is everything that we do virtually can be automated. So the connection piece, which is typically live when you're local, is automated. The filtration piece, when you're filtering down the right people to work with you, that's typically all automated, right? And then the conversion piece, that can be automated to a certain point, but depending on what your strategy is online, a lot of us are gonna be working one-on-one uh, to get people into health programs or protocols that will require one-on-one connection. But that's the only part that might not be automated for you. And if you do want to do what some of our clients do and automate the whole funnel, even the conversion piece in respect to digital education programs and reach $8 million in one funnel that we've uh, worked on uh, and 18 million on another funnel, et cetera, like it is doable and you can scale a lot Uh, in that respect. But the only way that this works online is if you go from being the jack of all trades to being a superhero to your tribe. This is one of the key shifts that will allow for you to start attracting people and creating a waiting list of individuals online. Now, next to the funnel, in between the local funnel and the virtual funnel, you'll see this web, this interweb of, of dots. That interweb of dots is very, very important. Because when you're local, you can connect with some other businesses locally. You can join um, some business networking groups and get some referrals uh, that way. But when you go virtual, you can have team members or uh, you you can hire agencies or you yourself can develop relationships um, to create mass networks of referrals into your business. And so we have done an amazing job building seven figure plus businesses online, virtual practices online, online businesses for health professionals and doctors that don't require um, paid media, that don't require investing all this money hoping that something comes out on the back end. But ultimately through uh, strategic partnerships and relationships that create this tsunami wave of results. Uh, for you. And so ultimately, this creates what I call the snowball effect in that when you go virtual, you've got a mass number of people that you can work with. And over time, if you stay consistent with this, and if you continue to refine your message, your story, and the type of people you want to attract and work with you, right, which can take a little bit of time at first, maybe a few weeks to a few months, all of a sudden you get this snowball effect. And the snowball effect is only available virtually. And the snowball effect is what creates this amazing opportunity for lead generation to to go on essentially autopilot. And we have doctors now that they, they have so many new patients and new leads because they've been following what we've recommended. And guess what? They have a lot of freedom. They're not like bogged down doing work day in and day out because they have followed our recommendations to build the systems that we teach in the virtual practice accelerator uh, program. So in order to create freedom, you ultimately need to operate as somebody that is thinking about being the business operator versus being the business owner, right? Excuse me, the business owner versus the business operator. I've been saying it wrong. So the business owner versus the business operator. That's what you want to be. You want to own the business. You want to own the systems. You want to own the people that are working underneath you. And it really does take that shift. So, you know, you have to be future focused. When you think this way, you want to be thinking marketing six months in advance. Whenever my marketing calendar is less than six months, I get queasy. I'm like, guys, let's get it back a year uh, in advance. Now, you don't need to do what I'm doing where I'm pushing a year in advance, but I I have four children and I'm organizing all these epic trips around the world with my family, uh, with my children, 
And so I want to be able to make sure that I prioritize that and that business isn't dictating my lifestyle, but my lifestyle is actually dictating my business calendar. So I always make sure that my, the things that I want to create for my family come first and then my business works around that. You want to think about what you can do to create marketing solutions and strategies often in the future. It might be, I'm going to develop five strategic relationships a month virtually, right? It might be, I'm going to create, let's say you're working with busy moms that are into fitness, right? Instagram's a great platform for that. So maybe you develop a, some strategic relationships with other Instagram uh, micro influencers. Micro influencers are people uh, that have less than 30,000 followers. And, and then you start building your own following, right? And you start shooting some of your own videos a couple times a week, maybe a couple times a day for some of you that are a little more ambitious. But all of a sudden you start getting a following. You get people to, to know, like, and trust you. And, and as you grow and scale that, you know, it's amazing what can get created. So when you go again, virtual, everything is automated. It's systematized. People get to know, like, and trust you at a higher level. You build more credibility with more people on autopilot. When you shoot one video, you may have another hundred people watch that at a later date. I mean, that's huge. When you do an internal event at your office, there's only one opportunity for them to see that. So we want to get you to essentially remove any ge geographical boundaries and really be able to scale the ability to impact people in, in a huge way. Um, and the other thing that's beautiful about virtual is that you, we don't want you working with tire kickers. We don't want people wasting your time. We want people that can afford to work with you to work with you. And the best way to do that is to make sure there's a filtration process to, to get only the right people uh, to work with you. So hopefully that this has added a ton of value to you. The big kind of mindset upgrade is to think like a business oper or owner versus an operator. Make your business work in such a way where your lifestyle is the priority and your business works around your lifestyle and that you're working on your business more than you're working in your business. So this is all, all things that we talk about in the Virtual Practice Accelerator. Check out the document again below. And if you've got to stay, stick with this over time because if you don't, then you'll just get frustrated. Things won't work out the first couple of weeks when you're starting. It just doesn't for most people. So you've got to stick with it and learn and, uh, and integrate and grow and learn and integrate and grow. And then all of a sudden you reach this tipping point where you start creating that snowball effect that creates the scalability that's possible virtually. So um, hopefully you've taken some gold nuggets from this. This is a huge uh, mindset shift for a lot of people, but when they get it, okay, I've got to think in, in the future, I've got to plan ahead six months at least from a marketing perspective. I've got to shift from local to virtual, from, from local to online. I've got to uh, pick, at, I've, I've got to become the superhero to the tribe that I want to work with. I've got to start integrating systems that automate things for me so I don't have to do the work and my business works without me. And so all of this stuff, again, we, we educate on in detail in the Virtual Practice Accelerator, but I hope that this adds a ton of value to you. And if it aligns for you, definitely check out our Virtual Practice Accelerator because it's just going to add more uh, value to you in the, 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 the days to come. So thanks so much for watching and I look forward to adding more value to you. If this has added value to you, please uh, send it along to a colleague that you think this might inspire. Thank you. Oh, 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 o